Hello, uh, my name is Chris Webster, and this is a, a, a recording of a presentation for our Year 12 um, parents meet the tutor evening um, here at Collingwood College. So how, how this session usually works is that we have it in college, and it's an opportunity um, for parents to come along um, and get some key messages um, from us about, about the start of the academic year and how things are going in Year 12, but primarily it's about an opportunity for parents to meet their personal tutor oh sorry not their personal tutor their son and daughter's personal tutor um, yeah to, to make some face-to-face -face contact with their personal tutor if if they wish to do so um, it, it's not a parents evening in that we, we you wouldn't be meeting subject tutors it's an opportunity um, to meet the personal tutors um, unfortunately we were unable to do that this academic year um, due to COVID-19 so what we're going to do is we're going to do a short presentation with some of the, the key messages and then we will invite parents um, to make individual contact with their personal tutors um, of their sons or daughters via the phone Uh, the the agenda for for this session is is on our screen now. So I will do the welcome um, and introduction of all our staff. I'll also talk to you a little bit about some of the um, safety measures that we put in place at, at Collingwood this academic year. Then Mrs. Boone um, will talk a little bit more generally about communication and how you keep in contact with college. Mr. Woods will talk to you about some study expectations and how courses are running at college um, and then we'll invite you to meet the tutors. This is our team. It's a great team actually. We have Mr Woods who's our curriculum leader and a personal tutor. He'll, he'll be talking um, to you in, in the presentation. We have Mrs Boone who's our sixth form student services manager. Um, she, she does a lot at at Collingwood in the sixth form. She's also a personal tutor for quite a few students. Um, we're really pleased to, to welcome some new staff into our team. We've got Miss Sharon O'Brien, who's, who's a full-time personal tutor who's joined us this academic year. Uh, Miss Ricky Strevens, who's our sixth form learning mentor. Um, it's a new role for us and, and she's primarily responsible for supervised study. And we have Mr. Ruffles, who, who I'm sure many of you will know. He was the head of year 11 last year and we've been really lucky to have him come and join us as a personal tutor this year. In terms of results, it was certainly um, quite a different and, and challenging year for, for our students uh, last academic year. But overall, we we're very pleased with the results that they achieved. We thought that, um, that they were accurate reflection of, of the work that, that they've done throughout their time with us. So over 50% of our uh, students achieved the, those top grades in the A star to B or the distinction star to distinction range. Um, and that, that's kind of within expectation um, for us. Um, in terms of their progress, um, they, they did particularly well last academic year. We, we use this indicator ALPS which, which scores um, our students from, from 1 to 9 and we achieved an ALPS 2 last academic year so that's within the top 10% nationally um, and again that's a familiar picture for us and, and where um, our students have been performing historically. We're really pleased to see in terms of university progression that the universities were very flexible last academic year um, and our students were able to progress on to the universities um, of their choice. Um, Mr Woods might give a little bit more, more information about this but we've already started working um, this academic year with students through, through the, the, the personal tutor program to start thinking about those important next steps. A few words on staying safe in the sixth form at the moment. Uh, I don't think you'd be surprised by any of the safety measures that, that we've put in place and that we've discussed with students. So uh, we've spoken to them about hand washing and, and sanitizing and, and the importance of doing that regularly. We've discussed the additional cleaning that's going on at, at college at the moment. There's also a range of one-way systems throughout the college um, to keep the, the flow of students moving. We've discussed social distancing with students and, and changes um, to classroom practices. Students have responded really well to this, actually. They've responded really maturely, um, and, and yeah, we, we feel that the college is operating well. Uh, you may well be aware that the government have made some recommendations in terms of year group bubbles or, or consistent grouping. How that's working in, in the sixth form is that we've treated year 12 and year 13 as, as one bubble. 
So that, that's a group of around about 220 students, as opposed to, to some of the, the year groups lower in the college, which are significantly larger than that at around the 300 um, student level. So that means our students in the sixth form can mix um, in classes, because sometimes we have 12s and 13s together, and they can also mix in, in communal areas. Um, students have, have responded really well. Um, to, to, these, um, to these suggestions at this stage. I just want, want to remind you that if students are symptomatic um, of this virus, so if they had that high temperature or the consistent cough or the loss of, of taste and, and smell, we are certainly recommended, recommending that they self-isolate, that they don't come in um, and that they try to obtain a test at the moment. And, and I realize how difficult that may well be. We can't predict what's going to happen this academic year, but in the event of a school closure or self-isolation as well, um, it's really important that, that students can access IT at home uh, so that they don't fall behind in, the, in their learning. The year 12s are in a little bit of a different situation um, from some of the other years in, in the school who continued um, with their online learning um, during lockdown. So some of it might be a little bit new to them. It's just really important that they can access Microsoft OneNote where lots of work will be set and that they could also ac access Microsoft Teams um, in, in the software so that we can teach some live lessons. If that is a problem um, for your sons and, and daughters, or if there are any type of access issues, please let us know and raise it as a concern because there may be something that we could do um, to facilitate that. So look, that's it, it for me. As I say, there'll be an opportunity um, at the end of the presentation where we'll invite you to contact your personal tutor or your sons and daughters personal tutor. Um, also, please feel free to contact me um, as well about anything at all to do with the provision in the sixth form. Um, finally, I just wanted to say we're really thrilled actually with this group of year 12s. They, they seem like a fantastic bunch. Um, they're really pleased to be here and we're really pleased to have them. Okay, so I'll pass on to our next presenter. Hi there, my name is Mrs. Boone. Um, lovely to see you all in a in a virtual world, which is something that we've we've all got used to over the last few months. Um, I would like to just take this opportunity to talk to you about the methods of communication actually within within sixth form, and how we we like to communicate both with students, staff, and and parents, and primarily that's kind of with email. Um, we have asked all students or suggested to all students that they download the Office 365 app onto their phone so they get notifications and can see their emails um, regularly. Um, we do ask them to check uh, at least a couple of times a day just so that um, they're aware of any, any messages that, that come through. Email is also the way that staff may contact students and certainly parents in the first instance. So. Uh, yeah, it's really important that they get into the habit of, of checking their, their email accounts regularly. Hopefully you all received a copy of this PowerPoint via the InTouch system. And that's how we, we tend to, to, to communicate with parents when we have sort of group messages and things that we need to send. The InTouch will also produce a weekly attendance um, notification that will be sent on a Monday morning. And that's an automated uh, message that is sent to notify you of any unauthorised absences in the week previous. Uh, if you receive that email, all that we ask is that you have a conversation with your son and daughter and you ask them to come and see either their personal tutor or Miss Strevens to then um, update the register and account for that absence. Another source of information is the sixth form website. It is a bit of a work in progress at the moment as we're updating things for this new academic year. However, I would suggest that you try to familiarise yourself with that, especially because there will be some more subject specific information coming with regards to termly plans and um, what the, the academic year might look like in, in the learning for your, for your son or daughter. Mr Woods will talk to you a little bit more about that in a second. Students will receive a weekly bulletin, a weekly email from either myself or Miss Strevens, and in that we'll have some information or reminders. We'll also have notifications of sort of seminar dates and, and up and coming events, and that will be sent on a Friday. So it might just be worth checking with them on a Friday afternoon what's coming up for the following week. Um, and we'll also prompt them to, to see it and remind them of what needs to happen. 
I did just want to mention the payment portal in that this is no longer um, and has been replaced by Edulink, which I understand has had some uh, issues um, in its infancy as we're, as we're transferring to this method of sort of communication. So bear with us on that. Um, we are investigating how we might navigate adding announcements and, and contacting parents and students um, in, in, you know, in a better detail. So that is a work in progress at the moment and will be something that will be followed up on. OK, thank you. I did want to talk to you about the personal tutorial programme that we have in place in sixth form. So your son and daughters will have been allocated to a personal tutor and a, a tutorial group. So that will be either with myself, Miss O'Brien, uh, Mr. Woods or Mr. Ruffles. Um, and we really act as that mentor, that go to person um, for anything related to kind of college, actually, with the link between home and school, um, but also between staff, parents and students. So if there are any concerns or issues or, you know, you need to tell us about anything, then then that would be your first port of call. There will be some contact information available at the end of this of this presentation with with some direct email addresses for you to use. There's also some information in the policies and procedures booklet, which is available um, online and certainly has been sent to, to your sons and daughters to so that they can familiarise themselves with some of the the changes in sick form. Um, hopefully you've all signed the contract and retire, return that to us as well. Um, we don't have form time every day, much to the delight of our students. So we do get to see them um, once every cycle. And that is in a one to one tutorial where actually we get to know them quite quickly as the young adults that they are. Um, we, we do a general check in. We make sure things are progressing as they should. We look at attendance. But also provide some of that you know information and advice um, for for future planning um, and also there for well-being and, and pastoral support if, if that's something that they you know they need to in addition to the one-to-one -one sessions we also have a seminar um, which is once every two weeks also on their timetable this is an opportunity where we're actually able to talk to the students as a year group um, and deliver sort of some key messages and provide information at certain times of the year that we think that they need. Um, it is looking a little bit different this year due to some of the safety measures in place. So we are not seeing them as whole year group this year. We are dividing them into their tutor groups. So um, they will know um, from the weekly email that they receive um, on a Friday where and when they're expected to attend for those sessions. So um, just maybe prompt them to remind them to check to check that email. Mr. Woods runs a seminar program, so um, he might have you know some some different things that he wants to talk about or engage with them. We also talk about study skills, um, preparing for uh, mock exams and that kind of thing. So um, unfortunately, this year we're not able to get our external speakers come in um, to talk to students, but hopefully that might change um, as we sort of work our way through the end of year 12 into year 13. Through the seminar programme and the tutorials, we also provide that information, advice and guidance for progression, actually, onto either UCAS apprenticeships or employment. We work with students to help with their research. We assist with applications. We certainly um, are very proud of our support that we give to students in terms of UCAS. Um, we help with their personal statements and also provide their reference um, in, in year 13 as then they are planning obviously their future pathways and, and what they might want to do with their, with their future. Um, that's it from me, thank you. Hello, it's Mr Woods here. I'm the uh, post-16 curriculum leader. So what I wanted to do on this slide is just to give you a bit of context about um, what the students are going to be facing over the next couple of years and where we're at. Um, so most importantly, it's important to acknowledge that we are, um, they will be, sorry, studying linear qualifications that will most likely have terminal exams. Um, so for all A-levels now, um, they are having the exams all at the end and there's very little coursework, if any at all. Um, and even for the new BTEC qualifications, um, they have externally set briefs um, and they have exam components at the end, which do have an impact, a huge impact on their overall grade. Uh, so, you know, straight off the bat, it's important for students to come in and, and acknowledge that um, and for parents to acknowledge that as well and to really um, think about the study skills and the way in which they're choosing to study and um, consolidate their learning from day one.
in order to help them with that learning, uh, one of the things we have set up, which I would like to share with you now, and, and students know about this, and you can you can push them on this, which is that we have our own sixth form learning OneNote, uh, which they all have access to. And as you can see on the screen, uh, there's a whole load of links on the left hand side, everything from the subjects that they're studying with links to key documents for them, all the way through to extra learning they can do on the side, um, revision resources, UCAS application help, apprenticeship application help, some advice and guidance regarding their well-being and their mental health etc etc so we're really using OneNote as a tool um, the teachers over the summer when we were all in lockdown became very very good at using OneNote and um, now what students are going to find and the conversations I imagine you're going to be having with them is that not only at this level at sixth form level where we're giving them a OneNote full of content actually every subject is going to be using OneNote or Teams. So it's important that they acknowledge it. It's important that they start using the software very early on um, and acknowledge um, and embrace the technology for what it is and, and how useful it can be. Uh, just before I move on, I will just draw your attention to the two things that you can see in the middle of the screen, personalized learning checklists and independent learning booklets. For every single subject we've made available for students, they're PLCs as we call them and their booklets that they can use to develop themselves and we really strongly encourage students to engage with these and as parents for you to say to them look have you looked at your PLCs have you have you looked at the independent learning booklet have you gone online and see if there's any extra courses you could be doing to grow yourself um, because A levels are going to you know going to be tricky enough but what we want to do over the two years is really grow them as people as well and ensure that they can um, fully develop. Uh, to the point where they're able to make a solid UCAS application or a very strong uh, apprenticeship or job application moving forward. OK, so what you can see in front of you is our lovely study room. Um, so with everything that I've just said to take into account, the fact that they're doing linear qualifications, the fact that they're going to be studying harder than ever, the fact that they're going to be doing more work on top, uh, additional courses, independent learning, everything that goes with it. Um, we're really proud to say that we have this space um, and it's been used. Um, it's been used for a couple of years now and we're really, 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 really happy with it. Um, they'll have nine hours of supervised study put onto their timetable um, for year 12 and for year 13. Um, it is monitored. We have um, a sixth form learning mentor working in there all the time who will be guiding and helping students and uh, also pushing them towards the OneNote and things like that if they're ever stuck or if they're ever saying that they maybe don't have anything to do, which I can't believe, but there you go. Um, so they'll have those nine extra study periods. They can use it at other times when they're on what we might call free periods, um, but it's just worth acknowledging that sometimes it gets very busy, so it might be that they wish to, to choose to study elsewhere. OK, but um, I just wanted to show you that so you're aware of what they're doing when they're in study periods and where they are. Last one from me, really. This is just a reminder of EduLink. Um, if you haven't downloaded the app, I strongly encourage you to as a parent. We encourage students to download it as well. Uh, just so you can see, you can see all the little icons of the things that you can access. Um, fantastic. Really good. Um, got the timetable on there. You'll have access to their homework, um, but I don't want to state for a fact that every single teacher will put their home learning on there. Um, it might be that this is um, something that grows over the next few years, but they may have some homework put on there. So you'll be able to see what they've got to do and what they um, have done and what they haven't done. Uh, you'll be able to see their attendance, their reports, um, and we're looking to get other information put on there soon. So links to the PLCs on there, links to learning booklets, link to the year planners, things like that. Um, but at the moment, at this moment in time, we're not necessarily sure how that's going to work, but it's, it's something that may go into the documents section uh, in the near future. OK, last slide, I promise. Um, so as you're aware, this was called the Meet the Tutor evening. And yet, of course, um, due to current restrictions, we're not able to actually meet you in person. As you can see, these are all the email addresses. We strongly recommend that you get in touch with us via email um, about any worries, queries, concerns regarding your son or daughter. We'll be more than happy to talk to you. Uh, Mr Webster, you can see there isn't a personal tutor, but he will be more than happy to uh, um, receive communication if you want to go straight to him. However, um, you've got myself, Mr Woods, Mrs Boone, Miss uh, O'Brien and Mr Ruffles are the four personal tutors. If your son or daughter is in their group and you'd like to get in touch with them to give, a, give them extra information or chat about anything at all, please do. Thank you for listening. I've kept it under 19 minutes, so I'm very pleased about that or we're pleased about that. And hopefully we will see you in the very near future. Goodbye.